Hey, everybody. Um, we are moving on now from working on your skin tones, um, where you lay down the cool colors underneath the shadow, then your main skin tone, then you work on the shadows, then you work on the highlights. Okay, so your blues, purples, greens, those go underneath the shadowed areas where you can kind of see um, blood getting closer to the face. Then you kind of come up with your main skin tone and you add in your shadows and your highlights. Go over that PowerPoint from last week if you're still kind of confused about that. It's a lot of information. It takes time and it takes practice. Um, but hopefully this worksheet helped you a lot. Um, to start your skin tones piece, you are either going to transfer by coloring on the back of this with pencil or using transfer paper, um, but you're going to transfer your person onto a darker sheet of paper. So there's like either a green sheet or a red sheet or a brown sheet or a tan sheet in there. That's the sheet that you want to use because colored pencil layers better on a colored piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer her over. Um, you can use, if you are at home, you can use one of the people in your packet that I have given you. Um, you're welcome to do that. Or you can use a print out of your own. Okay, if you have a printer at home, that is fine. Or you can draw one out from life, which of course makes things quite a bit more difficult. But you are welcome to try that as well. When you are tracing the nose, remember not to trace down the sides of the nose. You just want to hit the very, very basics here and you are going to use the value for the rest. I really want to practice um, darker skin tones right now so that's why I've chosen this. So it could be like the skin tones of people in your family or you guys could challenge yourself and try some skin tones that you don't often um, use. And I'm going to put her braids in back here, her neckline, the beginning of her hands praying or folded right up here at the front. And, you know, how you place your hands can be really interesting. I'm going to make up the rest of her shoulders, even though they aren't on this page. I'm also going to end up making up the top of her head a little bit. Um, Make sure I got in that eye. Let's see, what else did I miss? I don't think I missed too much. Let me pull this up. All right, so there she is, ready for me to match skin tones. Again, I'm going to add a little bit more kind of to the top of her head um, and make some of that up later. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to start off with the eye. Um, you want to start off with the whites of the eye, and you're going to add in, actually, your white colored pencil. The whites don't stay white all the way back. Um, it starts to reflect the skin tone of the person, or you can also kind of use blue and purple in these shadows um, towards the back of the eye. Then the pupil is black, and I don't think I have a black colored pencil here. I just have a really dark indigo, but whatever. I'm going to use that, and I'll go back over with black at the end. And you can do your white highlights. Remember to keep some highlights in the eye, or it looks really unrealistic. Um, this girl has blue eyes. The blue is darker out towards the edge of the iris and then gets lighter as it comes in. Again, I do not have all of my colored pencils out here, so I can layer in, let me grab, I can layer in different kinds of blues in this eye. Um, and hers almost look a little bit violet. Let's see if I can find a violet in there. Mm 
No, but I'm going to add in some of this teal. Okay, so you can see on the eye, you've got the white of the eye and then the colored portion. Now I'm going to start going out and talking about the skin tones. So again, if you're on a darker skin tone, it's kind of a more of a purpley undertone that you want to get. So I'm going to use this purple as an undertone for this face. And I'm going to lay down some of the purple underneath the shadows first. Because I want to use my blues and purples under there first. Because remember, it goes cool tones, then main skin tone, then the darker tones, and then the lighter tones. So you've got four layers. Your cool layers, your skin tone layers, your um, shadow layers, and then your highlight layers. So I'm now going to add that skin tone and start going out into her face with that skin tone. Now I'm not going to do the entire face. I'm just going to do a portion and then I'll help you work through it in class of what that's going to look like. But you guys can see as I get farther away from the eye, I'm going more just into that plain skin tone and away from the shadows. Okay. Then my last step is going to be to come in again with those shadows and highlights. So I know above the eye is like dark, dark brown, and below the eye is dark, and up above the, um, the eyelid is dark right there, and over. So now I'm adding in the shadows and layering that in. So your cool color, your skin tone, your shadow, your highlight. It just takes time, okay? So now I'm gonna come back in with some highlights in that area. And I won't add in um, I am not going to add in any lashes until I have this kind of finished up. All right, so I'm gonna start to show you the skin tones and areas around the eye. And again, you're gonna work out from here, highlighting where it's highlighted. You leave it light and white, okay? Darkening where it's darkened, shadowing where it's shadowed. Just continue to match. Sorry, I keep moving the wrong direction. All the way through. Okay? Email me if you have any questions at all about this process. It takes time. It takes layering. And again, you can review the PowerPoint from last week if you need it.